Hello and welcome to very first Excel tutorial from IT Army. Now this tutorial is going to be based on Microsoft Excel 2016 but if you are using older version or if you are using Excel for a Mac then also you would be able to follow along around most of the content from this training. So for those guys those who don't know what is Microsoft Excel is basically a part of Microsoft Office Suite. It's a spreadsheet application that allows you to store, present, manipulate and analyze the data. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to launch Microsoft Excel, you just need to click on the start button. And if you have Office installed, you're going to see the Microsoft Excel in this list. We have Excel over here and you can launch it from here. And if you find difficulty in finding application, you can just click on the search button and type in Excel and press enter key. So this is how Excel looks like. On the left hand side, you're going to see the list of recent workbooks you might have worked with. You have a link over here to open some other workbook. And on the right hand side, you are seeing some templates using which you can create a new workbook. So I'll be starting with a blank document so I can just simply click on this or you can hit the escape key and the new workbook will get created. Now workbook is a collection of worksheets from Excel 2013 onwards. By default, you get only one worksheet and the older versions we used to have three sheets, but not a problem. We can create uh, more sheets by clicking on this plus button. So going back to sheet one. Now what you are seeing over here inside the sheet, we have a collection of columns labeled A, B, C and we have rows 1, 2, 3. So we have around more than 16,000 columns and more than 1 million rows available. And an uh, intersection of a row and a column is called as a cell. You can see this is the cell and cell is the fundamental unit where you will be entering some information that could be text, it could be numbers, it could be some formula and that's all what you do in Microsoft Excel. Okay, now so let's get familiarized with the interface. At the top, you have over here called as Quick Access Toolbar or QAT. And below that, you have this area called as Ribbon. Ribbon contains groups and groups contain these commands. And below that, you have the name box. This shows the name of the cell. So if I click on this cell, it shows the name of that cell. On the right hand side of the name box, you have the formula bar. As the name suggests, that shows the formula of the active cell or whatever content you have in the active cell. And if this formula bar area is not enough, you can just click on this down arrow button and it, it will expand the area. And below that you have this worksheet. You have these buttons to navigate. If you have too many worksheets, you can use these buttons left and right to navigate between the sheets. You can click on the sheets to navigate between them and you can add more sheets using this plus button. Then we have over here horizontal scroll bar to navigate left and right and you have vertical scroll bar to move uh, vertically. At the bottom area you are seeing the status bar that says ready. That means that the cell is ready to accept the data. You can try start typing inside. And then we have some view buttons. You can switch between different views and then we have the slider to zoom in or zoom out into the sheet. So this is all what we have now talking about the navigation. We can just click on any cell to activate the cell. You can click and drag to select multiple cells and to scroll you can just use the mouse wheel to scroll up or down and if you want to horizontally scroll you can, can use the mouse wheel. If you have a tilt mouse button you can tilt it left and right for horizontal scrolling. Now if you talk about the navigation from the keyboard let me type in some data over here. Okay so if I have some data I can use the up or down arrow key and left and right arrow key to move in the cells. And if you are in any region, now this is the region where we have contiguous cells having the data. When I use control, left, right, up or down, it will move on to the first row, last row and first column and the last column. And I can also use the enter key to move down. I can use the shift enter key to move up. I can use the tab key to move right and I can use the shift tab key to move left. So this is all how we navigate. You can also use the page up and page down key to scroll entire page. So if I press the page down key, I'm scrolling the entire page down and page up. It takes me one page up. If you want to horizontally scroll the page, you can use the alter key. So if I press alter key and then I use the page up and page down, I can move left and right. Now be careful that you don't have to use the page up and page down of the numpad. If I press alter key and I use the page down key or the numeric keypad, and it gives me a heart. So I press the escape key and press home key to the first column. Now if you want to go to the cell A1, the top left column, you can press control home and then it takes you to the first column. 
So this is how we navigate inside Microsoft Excel using keyboard. And now if I want to enter the data, I can just simply click on any cell and I can start typing. So if I start typing, it will overwrite the existing content. So for example, over here, if I type 13,000, you can see at the bottom in the status bar, it is showing you that you are in enter mode. So when I press tab or enter, the data would be accepted. So I press enter key and the data got accepted. Now in case if you want to do any modification to an existing cell, you can simply double click on that and it comes in edit mode. You can see in the status bar it is showing that you are in edit mode. Now in the edit mode, the advantage is that you can use the left and right arrow key to move the cursor left or right. You can also come in edit mode by clicking in the formula bar. You can click in the formula bar. Again, you can see in the status bar you are in edit mode. The third way to come in edit mode is using the, the function key. I can press F2 and again you can see the cell is in edit mode. I can use the left arrow key, let's say I want to make it 16,000 and I press enter key and the changes got accepted. So this is how you can make the changes to the Excel sheet. So finally we saw that your cell can have three modes. It's in ready mode, edit mode and enter mode. We have one more mode available that we'll be talking about in later videos. 